Hello, today I will discuss about the histology of the thyroid gland. So what are the identifying points? We have thyroid follicles here. These are the thyroid follicles, one follicle, another follicle, another one, another one, third follicle. Third follicles are lined by simple cuboidal epithelium in a normal euthyroid person okay it contains colloid colloid is rich in thyroglobulin so from here to here is the follicle here to here is the follicle this is the colloid thyroglobulin connective tissue surrounding the follicles are are rich in blood vessel also reticular fiber blood vessel inside the connective tissue and these are fenestrated capillaries we have para follicular cell at the periphery of the follicle with the para follicular cell they are also called a clear cell because they they are staining is little pale and they are little larger than that of the normal cuboidal follicular cells of the thyroid follicle okay so if you go to the gross anatomy of the thyroid gland we'll find out that we have thyroid gland has two lobes right lobe left lobe connected by the isthmus it is present at the upper part of the trachea and lower part of the thyroid cartilage thyroid gland is very unique it has follicles no other endocrine gland has follicles only thyroid gland has follicles Follicles are lined by cuboidal or squamous epithelium. In case of hypothyroidism, it is simple squamous epithelium. In case of normal thyroid function or euthyroidism, it is cuboidal epithelium. In case of hyperthyroidism, it may be low columnar epithelium and small follicle size. Okay. These are the follicular cells. They are simple cuboidal epithelium in normal thyroid function. This is the colloid. Look at that. Two follicles are not homogene, are not homogeneously same size. So size is variable and it is usually acidophilic. The colloid it is rich in protein and thyroglobulin. And we have between the follicle we have the connective tissue and blood vessels and we, we may have also para follicular cell and in between the follicle in the connective tissue follicular cells are usually cuboidal follicular cell synthesis and secrete thyroid hormone those are the t3 t4 para follicular cell occur alone or in clump at the periphery of the follicle and parafollicular cell secretes calcitonin, also called pyrocalcitonin, that controls the blood calcium level, decreases the blood calcium level, inhibits the osteoclast cell, inhibit the reabsorption of calcium from the ultrafiltrate of the kidney. Okay, this is another follicle of the thyroid gland. It is lined by simple cuboidal epithelium. Here is one of the parafollicular cell inside the follicle, basal lamina. But look at that. The parafollicular cell does not touch the colloid. Okay. So parafollicular cell is not touching the colloid. It is covered by the follicular cell. Okay. So here a section of the of the thyroid gland. We are looking at the follicle. We have multiple follicle. It should be lined by simple keyboard epithelium. We have some septa. Septa is coming from the capsule of the thyroid gland. This is a thyroid follicle. This is another follicle. We may get the thy we may get the clear cell or the 
para follicular cell in between the follicle okay here is that and here is again these are the follicular cell they're, they're also called thyrocyte cell thyrocyte or thyroid follicular cell this is the colloid that is rich in thyroglobulin okay so this is the thyroid follicular cell we look at the cell these cells are usually keyboardal epithelium in a normal person or normal individual it should be keyboardal simple keyboardal only one layer cell and it has microvilli it is rich in graph endoplasmic reticulum mitochondria golgi apparatus so the graph endoplasmic reticulum produces the thyroglobulin that is processed in the golgi apparatus it is released to the colloid in the colloid in the tyrosine residue of the thyroglobulin there will be attachment of the iodine iodine is coming inside the cell as the iodide form we have the capillary present here capillary is present here the fenestrate capillary so there is iodine pump here iodide pump iodide will be converted into iodine iodine will attach to the tyrosine to produce t1 t2 t3 t4 and that the colloid will be uptaken by the endocytosis mechanism of the cell that will come in contact with the lysosome t3 t4 will be released it will go to the circulation t1 t2 will be recycled again so again this is the keyboard epithelium here it seems to be a little bit low columnar maybe the cell is maybe the thyroid gland is more active so if the thyroid gland is active cell height will increase the thyroid gland is inactive cell may be simple squamous so what happened this is the capillary what capillary there is a fenestrate capillary lined by the endothelial cell okay we have the iodine pump here so iodide pump iodide will go inside this cell and it will be converted into iodine here in this cell there will be rough endoplasmic reticulum then production of thyroglobulin processed in golgi apparatus and that will released inside the colloid okay in the tyrosine residue of thyroglobulin there will be attachment of the iodine then we'll get the mit monoiodothyronine diit diiodothyronine they will unite to diiodothyronine will unite to form t4 one diiodothyronine plus one monoiodothyronine will attach to form the t3 t3 also called triiodothyronine is very active form okay and t4 is less active form that will come back to the cell and that will be released to the blood by means of the endocytosis by the action of the lysosome so we have some clinical correlation graves disease an autoimmune mechanism of hyperthyroidism in that condition there will be attachment of the antibody to the thyroid to the thyroid tsh receptors we have the tsh thyroid stimulating hormone bound receptors it will be occupied by antibody so we, we, in that condition there will be hyperthyroidism graves disease and exophthalmos means protrusion of the eyeball that may be a manifestation of hyperthyroidism simple goiter enlargement of the thyroid gland may be due to iodine deficiency okay hypothyroidism then we'll get low bmr basal metabolic rate and lethargy and constipation always sleepiness myxedema it there will be puffiness of the face collection of the mucopolysaccharide and this is the adult type of hypothyroidism pitinism is the hypothyroidism of the infancy their brain will not be will not be developed they will be mentally retarded physically retarded okay thyroidectomy is a surgery to take out the thyroid gland in case of goiter 
these are some viable questions. What are the identifying points for thyroid gland slide? We have the thyroid follicle, follicular cell, parafollicular cell. We have the connective tissue and reticular fiber between the follicle. There is reach in fenestrated capillaries. What are the shapes of follicular cell? Usually simple keyboardal. In case of hyperthyroidism, it may be low columnar. In case of hypothyroidism, it is flattened or simple squamous. In case of hypothyroidism, size of the follicle will be increased. In case of hyperthyroidism, size will be decreased. But cell height will be increased. But the follicle or colloid will be decreased. What are how the secretion of the thyroid gland reaches the blood? It reaches the blood by means of the fenestrated capillaries directly into circulation. This is an endocrine gland, it has no duct. What is the structural and functional unit of the thyroid gland? These are the thyroid follicle. Only this is the endocrine gland in the body, which is follicle. What is the location of thyroid gland? over the tracheal ring and lower part of the thyroid cartilage. What is the location of parafollicular cell? It may be inside the follicle. In that condition, it should be covered by the follicular cell. It should not touch the colloid or it may be in, in a cluster between the follicles. What is the function of the parafollicular cell? It produces what? Calcitonin or thyrocalcitonin that decreases the blood calcium level it inhibits the osteoclast cell. It, it also inhibits the reabsorption of calcium from the ultrafiltrate of the kidney. How the follicle size changes on functional demand? Yes, in case of hypothyroidism, follicular cell will be flattened. Size of follicle will be increased. Amount of colloid thyroglobulin will be increased because they, are, they will not be utilized. In case of hyperthyroidism, the amount of colloid will be decreased, follicle size will be decreased, but the follicular cell height will be increased. How T3 and T4 is synthesized? We have iodide pump, then we have the iodine release inside the, inside the colloid and thyroglobin also produced by the endoplasmic reticulum then processed by the Golgi apparatus and the, the tyrosine residue of the thyroglobin will attach to the iodine, iodide will be converted into iodine, then there will be monoiodothyronine plus the diiodothyronine will combine to form T3 or triiodothyronine or two diiodothyronine DIT will form one thyroxine. Okay. And these are my references. Jankuria Basic Histology, Histology by Polina, 8th edition, Color Textbook of Histology, and Gray's Anatomy, okay, and L. Sabers Integrated Histology. So, if we go to the image again, we'll find out that here are the follicular cell. It may be low columnar, keyboardal, usually keyboardal. Okay, in case of hypothyroidism, it is flattened. Okay, these are the keyboardal epithelium, follicular epithelial cell. Okay, these are the follicles. These are the functional unit of the thyroid gland. These are the follicle lined by keyboardal epithelium. Here is the clear cell or the parafollicular cell. Okay. Here is the parafollicular cell. It should not touch the colloid. It is controlled by the blood calcium level and in concert with, the, with that of the parathyroid hormone. Okay, we got that. Now, this is the follicular cell, simple keyboardal epithelia. These are the glandular epithelium of the endocrine gland and this is the follicle rich in thyroglobulin. Okay, we got the location. And this is the again follicle. Okay, and that's all about the thyroid gland histology. If you like my video, please support my channel, please subscribe me and have a nice day. Bye now.